Yes, we're going to be talking a little bit about change and optimism. So let's talk a little bit about change, right? What happens to us when new things happen in our life? From the time that it happened to the time that we accept it, it's not immediately. There's a process that we go through. Although I talk about losing phone, this is the same in terms of different areas in our life, life stages. For example, used to go back home to Malaysia, visit your family, and suddenly cannot go anymore. So at the start, you're like, sure, no, cannot go, man, I don't know when. So a denial stage, you know. Then you realize, wow, really, cannot go. Ah. Then get a little bit angry. Wow, suddenly, all this lockdown, MCO, and all those cannot even go in why the government doing this kind of thing you know separate the family and all and then after you realize that oh you know no choice then you slowly let go look for alternatives right then you start to go through that process okay what else can we do looking forward to the day that you can be reunited with the family you know whether is it losing phone or life stage promotion changes in your life we go through a process it's not immediately that we accept and we receive it it is important for us to know what where are you at in the light of all these changes we need to manage with all these different ways of working right different style of working got to do this and that so where are you with regards to the changes that is happening in your world the next thing is optimism right can anybody tell me what is the first thing that you think of one word or one emoji that you think of when you think of optimism and i want you to know there's no right there's no wrong so chen hui says smiley face he says big hearted fantastic right and shirley says positive agnes says sunflower you know so nice so thanks guys you know for those of you that are responding on what comes to your mind when you think of optimism there are two points in optimism the first thing is uh, optimism is a feeling that things are going to turn out well you don't don't know whether it will turn out well or not you're not sure but you there's a feeling right the second line may be a little bit difficult like a general disposition but basically is that you have a hope that things are going to get better so you got a feeling that is going to turn out well and you have a hope that things are going to get better so this is what optimism is so from impossible to it is possible or I'm possible but I want you to know as well that optimism is not things will improve on their own without you doing anything that is not what optimism means second thing is not bluffing yourself they don't want to go and check up because they don't want to find problem and when they never find problem they think that they are okay you know so that is deception so optimism is not that and the third thing is optimism is not wishful thinking thinking must be paired up with action if you think only it is only half the story but if you think and then if you do then that is complete i want you to know that change happens all the time it's a cycle you know and optimism, realistic optimism, is the fuel, you know, like your car, you know, your van. Uh, if you got no petrol, you got no fuel, cannot move, you know. So fuel is like that optimism. That is the role that it plays in our life. We are faced with something new in our life, you know, when we are faced with difficulties in our life. There are three ways of how we respond to it. One is we respond like a stone, you know, like very hard, you know. We are hard, you know, is to protect ourselves, not because we want to be difficult, right? So that's the first way of responding like a stone. The second way of responding is like water, while. Like very adaptable you know you give me into a cup i go into a cup you go me into a mug i go into a mug you know put me into a bottle i become a shape of a bottle but the thing about water is that water can spill all over and the third way of how we can respond is to be like a ball to bounce back you know in a light of difficulties so what we want to work towards is to become like a ball to be able to bounce back effectively and i want to kind of share my favorite quote with you there are no hopeless situation only people who are hopeless about their situation mm -hmm.